Welcome Leo to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you are the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Leo, let's go ahead and take a look and see who is the person that is coming towards you in love. What do we need to know about the person that is connected to you in love? What is the energy or vibration of this person that wants to show up in this channeled message towards Leo? What is the energy of the person that is connected to Leo and collective Leos at this time? Thank you. Is this person's energy or vibration that wants to show through? Okay. So we have obsession in reverse and regret in reverse. And we have play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So overall, this person would like to... Um, I guess play with you per se, Leo. Um... I have a feeling like they don't have any regret and I really feel like they're letting go of some sort of like uh, attachment or, or, you know, or just obsessing, okay, over connection with you or obsessing over a situation, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Leo's and love. What can you tell me about this person? Thank you. Please clarify regret and reverse. Please clarify regret and reverse. Okay. So I see that we have your twin flames and also we have avoidance and reverse, okay? So they're no longer avoiding this connection that they have with you, okay? So whether or not you were the one who pointed out that maybe you guys were twin flames, okay, regardless of the situation, if they were like, you know, I don't believe in soulmates or destiny, I have a feeling that they're not they're not avoiding the topic anymore. Okay. Now they don't regret possibly how they could have like, you know, brushed off the idea that you guys were twin flames or soul connection, but I feel like your person's more open right now. Okay. So that kind of tells me that they used to be rigid before in the past. Um, but now they're really open to this connection. Okay. So let's see spirit, please clarify obsession and reverse. Please clarify obsession and reverse. So, you know, what I'm getting with this is that uh, maybe you know this person uh, through a friend, a family, or a coworker. This could be work related. Um, maybe um, this person wanted to um, let go of the idea of. Um, I guess caring about what other people think. Uh, that's the feeling I'm getting there. Let's see. Is there anything else, Spirit, that Leo needs to know? 
you know, and maybe for some, maybe this person didn't feel like you're into them. Let's see, that's way too much. Uh, please clarify obsession and reverse. Okay. Yeah, we have inner child, children, childish, in childhood. So the letting go of maybe being childish or being immature. Um, and this is about love or self-love. So right now, your person is really open to this connection. I don't know what else to say. I feel like they were really blocked. They're like protecting themselves. They're no longer avoiding this this energy, this drive, this pull that they have with you, Leo, okay? Um, maybe for some, uh, you know, they were kind of like brushing things off, like, no, there's nothing there. But yes, clearly there is. Um, that's what I'm seeing. So maybe they're uh, admitting that they caught feels for you. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> so let's see. Spirit, please reveal to me the energy or vibration of the person that is connected to Leo. And Leo, what is your energy towards this person? How do you guys currently think? How do you feel towards one another? Um, what is it that you both want? And what is the outcomes? Let's see. All right, so... I have a feeling that your person was in their head about maybe opening up to this situation and um, it's possibly because of some sort of third party. There, there must have been some sort of third party interference that got in the way. This is what I'm feeling. Maybe uh, the person that you're dealing with, they're kind of caught up on a past situation and here you are, okay? Um, you're different than what they're normally used to. Um, and I feel that your person was kind of blocked up. And I feel like, you know, you were very loving, uh, very open, maybe expressing um, that you have genuine uh, concern for this particular person. And I feel that they're actually getting over some sort of third party. Okay, so that's why they're in two minds about this situation. Um, and they realize that they had to let go of their past. So there's definitely a past situation that your lover is dealing with and they needed closure. They really need to have closure uh, with that past energy in order to really be open with this energy towards you. Okay. And yeah, I see that they could be leaving some sort of situation. This could have been um, something that they invested into for such a long time. You know, I feel that things are changing. You know, I mean, this could be financial also. Um, yeah, this person works a lot. So maybe you know this person through work because, you know, I see here a friend, family, co-worker. They're no longer obsessed through co-workers, per perhaps, that, you know, there was a, I don't know, office romance. <laughs> no, that must be for somebody. But there must have been something like that going on. And, you know, this person is really thinking about work. You know, they didn't want to break uh, any kind of like family situation, but they could be leaving some sort of karmic family. Okay. Take as it resonates. And now they're looking at, you know, what is the thing that makes them happy? They realized that they had to let go of the struggle because things were not balanced. Things were, um, it was really unfair for them and they had to make a decision here because they're they're torn you know they're going through a lot and that's why um they just uh chose to like be rigid okay um like they were a little bit blocked it was because they couldn't see and perhaps they're kind of codependent on some sort of situation 
So maybe, you know, for some, I'm really picking up that maybe your person had another family, another obligation, like maybe they were married, maybe they're in another commitment, or maybe there was a, a, a person or a situation of their past that they had a hard time of letting go. And for the longest time, they just didn't know how to let loose. Like they didn't know how to um, really be open to new experiences. Um, but I really feel strongly for some, the reason why they they held back was because either they felt like they weren't good enough um, or, you know, financially they were um, in some sort of codependency. Yeah, that's why um, for some, maybe they're in another relationship and, you know, they had to upkeep like their visual uh, persona. Okay, but I see that, you know, they really want to come towards you. I don't know. I, I have a feeling like you've known this person through a work relationship. You know, it could be through family. Maybe you met, like, some family member introduced you to this person. But I feel like uh, it's a work situation for some. Maybe you've known this person for a long time, like, since childhood. But regardless, okay, uh, they they really have admiration for you, and they're having a hard time of letting go of the past. But I see that you know, at least there is hope here. Um, you know, they're they're trying to see or get their way out of maybe their level of thinking because they need to really take that first step forward to really get out of this mental entrapment about what people might think about you and them being together romantically and this could have been going on for the past two years maybe for you and this person maybe you guys are separated by distance there could be travel and maybe um because of those two years and i'm thinking um the cv days right uh you guys just and couldn't spend um, time with one another in the physical. That's why um, they're not really showing up. But this person does love you. Maybe it's because somebody here um, got pregnant, uh, especially if they're in another relationship with a karmic. And maybe for some, you know, maybe you are actually pregnant with this person. Um, and that's just for some. And they just really couldn't conjure up the communication because they needed to really think about what they wanted to do. They're just not happy about walking away from a situation. And it's because of, I really feel like this is money. This could be a job situation. It's work. It's something that's holding them back. But I see that today they're open. Okay. So if you've been waiting for a window of opportunity, I mean, I really feel like Leo, this is like your lucky time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially if you feel like you know who this person is. Now, they they really feel like a lot of things never really worked out for them, but they're willing to put in the work, the effort. And I see that you're trying to get off your ego. Okay. Um, maybe it was a third party situation and you're the one that was always rejected by this particular person, but you're slowly getting out of that mindset. Now, this person really wants to come towards you. Like they, they really are ready for union. Okay. Especially, okay. They're open to this twin flame connection. Perhaps, you know, they didn't believe in twin flames of the past, but they're they're really open because I see her four of wands and the empress. And I really feel like this person really wants to communicate that they want to um, kind of like, I don't know, spend some time, go out on a picnic. And you're like, yabba dabba do over here. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, you're like, bring it. You're ready for the reset. So this feels really uh, positive. Now, right now, I see that they really want to see what their options are. They're definitely wanting to get, uh, get out of their head about a past situation. So again, if your person is dealing with a past situation, they're actually like putting closure to it so they can open up to a new experience with you. And I see that you're letting go of this attachment, this off 
you know, this is an obsession. So you're letting go of the situation, like maybe it was a friend, a family coworker that introduced you guys together, but you guys actually have the hots for one another. And it was like kind of like a secret, you know, something like that. But regardless of the situation, you're letting go of this person's past, whatever that past might be. I feel like you're just really open. Now, in the outcome... Okay, so your person's going through a lot of difficulty right now. Um, they're in their head, though. So they need time to really try to figure themselves out, like really get their sense of composure. And for you, you really feel that maybe the karmic is still in the way of this connection. And you're just trying to look at things from a different perspective. Maybe from the karmic perspective, maybe from your person. I really feel like you generally have interest in this particular person, Leo. Um, this person's going through a lot. And I see that they're actually uh, getting, they're breaking up with a karmic person. If they're married to them, they're getting out of that situation. They're no longer wanting to uh settle down with a particular person and with you you feel like disconnected emotionally because you feel like there's something going on with your person i really feel like i'm telling uh, a collective of leos where your person is kind of caught up in another karmic situation you know and it could be a variety of things it doesn't have to be romantic i mean it could be like you know through co-workers and friends and you guys just can't be together because you don't want, you know, your workplace, you know, you don't be the gossip, you know, like you're trying to avoid it at all costs. But there is a, a genuine um, affection for this one, you know, but I really feel that someone here is going through a breakup. So they realize that there's destiny here at play and they realize that they have to let go of the past situation in order to open up so this reading is about a person that you're connected to they're finally getting over a past situation so they can open up to love with you and also with you you're letting go of this uh instability like if you're holding on to a situation you know that um there's more okay that's what I'm feeling. You feel like it was a missed opportunity, but I really feel like, you know, this is your ego. Also, like, try not to take it too hard because I feel like there is, like, you know, an interest and then there was a disconnect and now your ego is a little hurt and it's not because of you, okay? <laughs> your person is going through, like, they're they're putting closure towards a past situation so they can open themselves up to love exactly like we have here the star you could be done with an aquarius for some and i see that they have hope that they can heal but right now they're they're in their head like they're really conflicted because in reality things are going on a downturn so we have to be compassionate you know you feel pretty bad. I mean, I really feel like, Leo, you're you're kind of like more emotional. Dang, look at this. Wow, how ironic. Your person now wants to open up to love. And they may approach you with words of affirmation. Like, like I, I want to see you. I want to, you know, can I come over? Um... Maybe this person wants to apologize. I don't know. It's something like that. But they're coming in with, with um, a genuine offer of love or a, a genuine apology. Maybe this person chose someone over you. And maybe this person is returning back with flowers and stuff. And I see that you're not feeling it. As much as you want this person you feel like you can't now is it because like your person hasn't completely uh gotten over the karmic situation 
I see they want to tell you the truth that they had a hard time in making decision. And I really feel like, you know, maybe this person told you that, you know, they're wanting to come towards you, but, you know, they ended up, you know, like staying with the karmic partner for a little bit longer and you kind of cut them out. So, you know, your pride and ego got hurt. That's what I'm, I'm sensing. So they're ready to go the distance with you okay they recognize that they can't let go of the situation and with you you keep thinking of the past a lot of time has passed you know this is like a you know like a deep soul connection with you you know i mean i really feel like this is for twin flames and i see that they're holding back from communicating that they they really want to work it out and you feel like maybe this won't work so oh my god so leo okay i'm not saying okay totally push your person away but whoever this person is you're genuinely coming back and trying to make it work okay yes they they could have you know left you in the past and you might like you know get these flashbacks of what this person has done to you okay and, and that's the thing that that is resonant with you to to this day in the present moment but i would say if this person is coming to you and they're knocking on your door and they're apologizing with you i would just be open with this energy i'm not saying like you know be a, a doormat you know but i i am seeing that this particular person is being for real they're finally opening themselves up you know and they really want to take their edge off you know, and they're kind of like acknowledging what they've done because they, they cannot deny how strong this connection is. And that, that's what I'm seeing here. So let's see. Let me go ahead and pull some messages that your person would like to say. Spirit, what messages does Leo's person want to say towards them at this time? What are the messages that want to come through? What messages want to come through for the sign of Leo? What messages want to come through, please, Spirit? Messages want to come through. Hmm. Only one. <laughs> I want you to know. I want you to understand my feelings as well. Oh my God. You know, so it's not all about you, but maybe you're not seeing your person's perspective like why they did the things that they did you know like i said i really feel like uh having a genuine uh you know love for one another will kind of help you guys get through this hump i really feel like this is for, for twin flames twin flame connections so let's see uh spirit what is the guidance that you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or Cross Watcher, who is watching? What is the guidance that you have? What is the guidance? Oh, that's a lot. Just one. <laughs> Becoming braver. It's so number five resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective. Let's see. After a fall such as this, I think 
I shall think nothing of tumbling downstairs. How brave they'll all think of me at home. Why, I wouldn't say anything about it, even if I fell off the top of the house. Alice is brave, and so are you, with everything that has taken place in your life of late, and have left often uh, felt overwhelmed, challenged, and uncertain of whether you could cope with ever, ever much more. But you don't um, but you have shown great courage, and perhaps even more wonderfully, you've developed so much resilience because of the extreme nature of the events and experiences you have been working with. You will now be able to deal with all manner of circumstance with great claim and stoicism, and this is no small thing. Being challenged in quite radical ways can see some people retreat entirely from life, but you, like Alice, can see one of the aspects of working through adversity is realizing just how much you can do. You have been stretched, pushed, and gone right to the very edges of what you know about yourself, and you have come to know yourself far better, far more deeply than if you had not had these great and sometimes rather terrible adventures. Most of all, please know these truths. You are strong, you are brave, you are resilient. You have been dignified, graceful, and remain curious under the greatest sorts of pressures. This has been, in many ways, your finest hour, and you will be able to set an amazing example when life returns to something just a little closer to what most people call normal. All right, so um, let's see what this says, the divination. You have been tested the development of strength and resilience through the courageous meeting of challenges, the demonstration of great character, the acknowledgement of how much you have learned, the ability to cope with so many little things due to a great ordeal endured with grace, dignity, and humor. Testing times show true character because why you have a heart of a lion <laughs> and you've become brave you know, you you actually stood your ground with this particular person, and I feel like it's evident, and this person really wants to come through and really genuinely show you, okay, that you really mean something to them, and that's what I'm seeing, so I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <music>